Welcome back everybody. Uh, today I'm going to install another light underneath the cabinets right here near the paper towel holder. I have one here. So I was trying to find the exact same light, but I couldn't find it. But I did find another brand that's brighter. And so uh, I bought two of them. So I'm going to replace this one. And then I'm going to put an, another one there. And then I'm going to keep this one as a spare for other ones in the trailer if they go out in the future to replace them. So what I did was I purchased these lights here. These are actually LED and they're um, 6,000 uh, K cool white lights. So they're pretty bright. Um, they're easy to install. There's just two wires, uh, positive and negative. And these are dimmable if I wanted to dim them in the future. So these are some of the tools that I'll need. I might need a little bit uh, more uh, as uh, I put this together and I see it's gonna take a little bit more uh, work than I planned on. So under here, <clears throat> I'll be drilling a hole here to run the wires from this light over to that one. These lights are operated on one switch right here. And what I'll have to do is remove the microwave. There's only four screws and then it's plugged in in the back. And then this has got a false bottom on the cabinet here so there's a space where I'm going to try and feed the wires through here over to the other light down here so we'll see how that goes um, so that should add some more light here because I just want more light on the cabinet countertop right here I know I have this light that's over the stove uh, which is very weak and maybe I can get a brighter light for there, but I decided just to go this route. So bear with me, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the microwave to expose the wires in here. So there's four Robert's head screws here that I'll remove. I have the microwave removed. Like I said, there's only four screws here. And here's a, a tip for you. If you ever have the screws working out of um, holes like this in the wood, you can take super glue and put it on some toothpicks and then just shove the toothpicks in there to glue them in place, let it dry, and then screw your screw back in and it'll tighten them up so they won't work out anymore. So this is what it looks like in behind the microwave. The microwave is actually plugged into that plug right there. It sits here. And then I'm gonna remove these boards here. I've removed the screws that hold this in place. And then what I'll do is I'll try to uh, figure out how to get my wire from here over to this spot here underneath. So I'm gonna take here and show you how you remove these lights. Turn it counterclockwise, it's ratted. And then there's three screws right here that you remove. So I'm gonna pull this light down. I've got the light unscrewed here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut these wires here, connect this other light next to it, and then I'm gonna turn them on so we can compare how bright um, each one of these is. So this one here in my hand should be brighter than this one. We'll see. I got both the lights wired up side by side so you can see what they look like. The one in my hand is a new one with the uh, cool white and the other one is the original light that came with the trailer. So this works out good because it's going to add a lot of brightness to this under the cabinet for the kitchen and that's what I'm looking for. So uh, I'm uh, looking forward to doing this. I'm gonna go ahead and work on trying to fish my wires over to there after I drill a hole. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill a hole now. I have my location marked out here. I put tape down and then I marked it with a felt pen, centered with that uh, electrical outlet. And, uh, and just a, 
enough to clear. So I'll be between these two boards. Let me flip this around and show you where it'll be coming up. It'll be coming up in there. So I've moved the wires over by pulling them and I pulled them to the side. So um, hopefully you can see this pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill the hole now. So my goal is to get a wire from here to here. In order to do that, this is all the open bottom here. A chamber inside here that's kind of hidden, as you can see. So I took and I pulled on this blue wire and I traced it and it goes up to here, to this location here. So this blue wire passes by both these holes. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tie a string onto this and put electrical tape on it. I'm gonna cut it loose from this other wire and I'm gonna use it to pull the string back through this way while I have um, my electrical wire that I wanna to use to jump from hole to hole. Um, connected to it. So I'll, I'll connect it all and then I'll show you before I pull it what I'm going to do. Okay, so I got the blue wire disconnected from this little black wire. Got this taped really good. My string taped to this wire here. And I've done a yank test on it to make sure it doesn't come off. Then a little farther down the string, I have my wire connected to the string. So when I pull the string by the other wires, or by the other holes, I'll be able to pull the, the wire out of the holes. And then when I'm done, uh, I'll disconnect this wire from this string and pull the string back and this wire back in place. So I'm gonna give it a try here. I pulled the string with the blue wire to where the microwave is. And it pulled the wire through, it's through my hole here. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and pull this blue wire back using the string. The blue wire is back and connected to the black wire like it was before. And now I have a wire here to here and they're all stripped and what I'll do is these are the live wires from the switch. I'm gonna connect them to this wire and and then it'll, it'll power this up here. And then the light will be connected to these also here. So all these, all um, six of these wires will be together. And then over here, it'll be just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and wire those up and show you what it looks like. They're both wired up, just like that. And then I'm gonna button this up here. So it's a pretty easy project. I'll put it together, um, put these back in place, the lights, screw this new one up here, and I'll show you what it looks like. I'm going to do my best to show you how these lights operate. They are dimmable. So I'm gonna leave this one on here high. I wanna show you how to turn it on. You turn it on by pushing the button on, off, or you can do it by a switch I have up here and turn them both um, off or on. So I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna hold this button for about nine seconds and then it dims all the way down and then it'll go all the way to dim and and stop then to brighten it back up i hold it for nine seconds and it's full brightness so if i dim it all the way down let's say i hit it and it dims all the way down and i turn it off and back on it has a memory 
to leave it at that setting I just had it at. And same if I turn the switch off up above, turn it off and on, it will save this setting. If I have this one over here at a different setting as this one, it'll stay the same as it was. So they're each individual. So if I go here, full brightness on this one, and let's say here, I had this one off for some reason. And I go over to my switch and turn it on, off. I'm going to turn it off and then on. They both go on. So it automatically goes from off to on. So if I had both these lights off, let's see, off here. And I turn the switch off then on they would both go back on so i hope that captures it you can't really see through the camera exactly how much these are dimming but they're dimming about half the brightness of what it was so these were good under the cabinets very well it's all buttoned up all done here as you can see this is a wider light than the existing lights that i had in here before these lights are pretty bright. They're good for a kitchen countertop area. I personally wouldn't use them throughout the trailer, even though it'd be nice to have the trailer a lot brighter with this dark wood tone here. Um, so I'm just gonna keep using these uh, bright ones down here. It lightens it up quite a bit. Um, as you can see, I got everything back together. This here, they all have buttons, so they're able to shut them off. So if you wanna just have one on, either one of these on, then you can. Um, there's a switch right up here, or I can turn them off, separate switch. And then um, right, while we're here, I wanna show you something. I have a video, I'll put it uh, in the description below, I'll put a link to it of my install of this um, paper towel holder. I really like it because it, it ratchets and it won't unravel when you're traveling. You're able to just tear the sheets off without the whole roll coming down. So you can install that anywhere you want. This is where I put it. And then here on the panel, um, I have no lights above it, so it's kind of dark. So what I did was I did uh, panel lights right here. And these are just uh, little lights that I got that are for um, license plates. So I put them on, wired them up here. And so I have, I'll put um, a, a link to um, this wire job I did in the description below. So all in all, I'm happy with this project. Um, I'm glad it's a lot brighter right here. Um, I wish the trailer was a lot brighter um, because of all the, all the dark wood. But um, this is what I got to live with. Maybe someday I'll see a light that's a little brighter than this that doesn't blind me if I look straight up at it. Um, so thanks for watching, everybody. Hey, one more thing. I just did a video on installing this new uh, kitchen kitchen faucet. Um, if I'll put a link um, in the description below to my install of that and how I explain how I did this soap dispenser on the counter. It was really easy. So, hey, anyway, just want to say thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. I hope everybody's doing fine. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down. Feel free to leave comments or questions. I'll, I'll answer it um, as soon as I can, whenever I am able to get to my um, messages. I'll get back to you. So, and don't forget to subscribe if you like. Uh, then you'll be notified if you hit the bell icon of future videos I come out with, which I'm going to have some good ones coming out real soon where I install lithium batteries on the trailer. So take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. Happy camping.